Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I have posted anything, but I promise I am going to start vlogging more because I have been busy traveling and I have not taken you with me. So, I'm going to Vegas tomorrow. This video is going to show you how to pack on a budget. So this series is actually titled, How to Travel on a Budget. But first things first, we have to pack on a budget because there are many carriers that will charge you to even uh, bring a carry-on. And then of course you've got your check bag. So what I have done, I was challenged by my travel business partner, Tyra, with Mommy and Me Travel, to save my money. This is going to be compliant and passable as a personal item. Um, so watch how I did this here and continue to subscribe. Hit the notification bell, please like, and if you wanna share this with anybody else who may find it useful, feel free to do so. So, I will see you in Vegas. Bon voyage! So I'm going to get ready to start to play Tetris with my backpack. So anyway, I am grabbing my things out of the dryer. My flight is very late compared to a lot of other trips that I've been on. It's 11 a.m. I love the pressure of packing and I love the pressure of last minute. I just think it really gives me adrenaline. I don't know why I like it. Um, so I don't plan a lot. I haven't picked out what I'm going to wear. I've got to get creative because I, like I said, I'm packing a backpack for four nights and five days in another state on a vacation. And so I'm going to get creative and take you with me. <laughs> All right, here's the rest of it. Okay, so I'm going to go through everything and pick out what I'm just going to hang up and leave here and what I'm going to take with me. Alright, so I needed a fresh space, so I think I cracked the code. I'm going to be there for four nights, and I am not packing anything that I don't need. Um, say goodbye to elegant dinners, say goodbye to anything elegant or fancy, because I only have enough room, if that, to pack just enough. So I've got four pair of shorts, so that's for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then four shirts, a pair of swim shorts, and of course my, my under drawers, and then um, my pajamas, all right? And then I'm just gonna have to figure out shoes at the end. <laughs> too bad. Now it's just a matter of stuffing everything in here and saving enough room for my toiletries of course. Alright, so I'm just going to start with my shorts. are getting there and we are making progress. Here are my toiletries. <laughs> and this is not going to work if you've seen that backpack. So we are going to consolidate. Um, I am not going to be using this bag. Although it is collapsible, it is too bulky. So I have brought my freezer bags. Do not, <laughs> I'm not leading by example, I promise, because there are rules with TSA depending on the airline. Um, in fact, no, I think it's across the board. See, I don't even know because I don't pay attention, but there's a certain amount of these that you can have. And I never even use these. I use these for food. They're for food. They're not for traveling for me. <laughs> but um, I broke these out because I'm going to put my toiletries in here. Now, I have all of my travel size toiletries. Uh, we're gonna start with my first aid kit. This is really super cute, but it's just too bulky. So we're gonna put this in a standby pile. And it's just bandages, Q-tips, alcohol wipes, stuff like that. Shaving cream, we're gonna put this in the standby aisle over here, the standby pile, because I can go four days without shaving, as long as I get a good shave in the morning. Contact solution, this is going on standby as well because my contact lenses are only one day wear lenses, so I toss them out every night. 
Um, that's even on the days that I'm wearing them. The only time I would use a solution is if I get something stuck in my eye, you know, and I have to rinse my, uh, my contact. I was gonna say my eyelash, excuse me. And then, so that's gonna be on like the standby pile. Um, these I am bringing, these are antibacterial wipes. So these are a must go. We have my hand sanitizer, which is a must go. Facial exfoliator is going to be on the standby pile. Face wash, yes, we'll do the face wash. Um, of course, our antiperspirant, it is going to be in the hundreds. Um, body wash. Uh, of course, the hotel is going to have body soap. My skin is very sensitive though, so I have to make sure that I am taking care of my skin and not being uncomfortable, especially in a very dry climate. Um, I have enough toothpaste in here for four days. A um, little ointment and mousse for my hair. Oh, and body spray. Um, I grabbed this actually today. And then, so the razors are going to go in pile, that pile. And I am going to bring Zyrtec, yes, for my allergies. Migraine relief, yes. Ooh, um, regular tunnel, yes. I have all of my vitamins and supplements out of the bottles and they are in here, yes. I take all of my vitamins and supplements, um, especially while I'm traveling. Lip balm, tissues are gonna be plan B or my standby pile rather because um, it's not too difficult to find a tissue or napkin somewhere. I always travel with little tissues like that. However, we are, uh, doing a different experiment and then of course my hydrating mask it is very dry out in Nevada and I'm hoping I can fit this in this is compliant with TSA it's only 1.69 ounces however the jar is kind of bulky and heavy so this is kind of gonna be in like in between both piles <laughs> all right so here we go You know, I actually don't think we're doing too bad. So here's bag number one with toiletries and bag number two with medications, vitamins, supplements. And I think I'll throw these in the backpack separately so I can access them easily. And we are, we are on track. The plan B pile, or I'm sorry, excuse me, the standby pile is just going to sit in standby for the moment. And if there's any, way, shape, or form on how I can get those in uh, at the end, then I'm going to do so because I still have to get... This is not a necessity, but it's just easier because I am traveling with another vlogger, so we have a lot of things to charge. And if you've ever been in hotel rooms, it is a little difficult to be crawling behind nightstands and underneath desks to plug in stuff, and you've got stuff everywhere, so if we can just have one charging station designated for all of our stuff then that's that's a winner <laughs> all right so i am impressed with my own abilities so here is my backpack um so it can't be like super overstuffed because then they're going to consider it a carry-on and not a personal item and i don't want to risk that because if i'm going to pay for a carry-on i'm going to bring a ton more stuff so um i actually managed to get an extra pair of shoes in addition to the ones that I'm going to be wearing to the airport. Um, and then um, I'm even going to do a pair of flip-flops, so I'm going to be really bold. I don't know why I'm bringing flip-flops. These are just probably only going to be for the pool day, but... Alright, so if you guys don't have one of these, these are just a, it's a battery for your phone. Um, or any sort of USB device. This one I actually ordered from Amazon, I think, a couple years ago. Um, it's great for hurricanes. <laughs> if you lose power, you need to charge your devices, but it's also great for traveling, too. Of course, my tablet is charging right now. I'm going to download a few movies on there and then just slide it right in here, and we are going to be golden. So I really can't believe this, y'all. <laughs> I just want to hug it. I just want to sleep with it. Yes. 